Good morning again. Today we're going to talk about uh, rebuilding this engine for this Chevelle behind us. So this is a 454. We're going to build a stroker with it. The only reason I'm doing this video is because uh, I couldn't find information about the domes. The domes for uh, not necessarily clearance, you know, not necessarily checking for valve clearance, but how big of a dome can we go in an Edelbrock head? It was my goal. And an aluminum head. Because I want to save on weight, right? I don't want to have this thing diving around corners. I want it to be, uh, we're going to lower it and everything else, and uh, I want to enjoy it. But uh, we already had the engine punched out. We ordered our stroker kit, right? Scat stroker kit. And uh, I should have had, I don't want to zero deck it, because when you zero deck it, you end up messing all the everything up. So your intake's not going to sit right and everything else, and then you got to go get that done too. So we just we're just going with a dome. Uh, this is a method any of you guys can do with a file, you know, 14 inch file or smaller file if you have a smaller engine. But we'll talk about how to do it. All right. So with the with the block flat, right? We're going to take a uh, a bastard file. Right. We we'll use a bastard file. It's a really really coarse file. And basically, you're going to start at one end, right? You start at one end, and you're going to push it diagonally. So I push it from end to end, and go all the way off, and, uh, and uh, after I do this a couple times, right, I'll do it in this direction, I'm doing it across the block at an angle, right, so I'm cutting it across at an angle. However you want to do it, if you want to do 5 and 5, 10 and 10, right, you just keep going across. I'm going to flip the file over because I start to build up, right? And I'm going to go in the other direction. So you'll start to see nice nice shiny, shiny pieces. Yeah, you can start to see on there. And what you'll have is you'll find all your low spots. Sometimes there's low spots in the middle. Well, usually. Uh, and then uh, once we go through and, and we can start to see that we're touching the metal everywhere, we'll go through with a finer file. And again, do the cross hatch pattern. I'll rotate to this end and even push this way. Right? So that way I'm pushing all the way off this edge and I'm pushing all the way off this edge. Because here I, I can't really push off the edge, right? In between, I can take a wire brush, right? I can take a wire brush and I'll, and I'll brush out my uh, file in both directions, both directions. I tried using some baby powder. They say that that helps to keep from gumming up your file. Clean with lacquer thinner, you know, before you even started. So on this side, you can see where, where I already did this side, but you can see these dark spots. Yeah, right here. So you can see this is a low spot, and right here, this is a low spot as well. This one's not as bad, this front piece is not as bad, but uh, I'm going to have to go over this side again. And again, we're just pushing off at an angle, right? Push off at an angle five times, nice and flat, nice and flat. If you notice that your file is digging in on the sides, right, it's only digging in on the sides and then when you flip it over, it's digging in the middle, then that file's not flat. The purpose of the video, like I said, is just to show you guys if, if this block has to be notched or anything like that for clearance and uh, cover that valve to, valve to piston clearance because my, my thing is I don't, I don't want to have to cut my pistons I don't want to have to notch out my pistons for the valve and uh, we're going to go pretty wild on this engine it'll be uh, right around 600 horsepower but we'll keep it streetable as streetable as possible I, I uh, still want to be able to daily drive it but I, I uh, we're going to do naturally aspirated and all that stuff. There's much cheaper ways to get to 600 horsepower, but I want 100,000 miles out of this block for sure. So, went through both sides. It's pretty clean. It's uh, good enough. Again, I, I, I learned this method from uh, working on diesel engines and stuff like that. It's not real feasible to send a block off, so uh, that's, that's how we did it. It helps in the field and stuff like that. But when you're filing, uh, make sure you have a hold of this handle. And I was pushing down on this end when I was doing it. Uh, just keep from busting knuckles and stuff. 
and to make sure that file stays as flat as possible, push in the center. So I use this hand to pull, right, and push, push. And then, uh, again, when I go the other way, I can rotate it over to this side, right? A little bit of information on this engine. This is a Gen 6 454, uh, which means it's got roller tappets. And uh, you can put roller tappets in a, in a Gen 4 and 5. Some Gen 5s have roller tappets, but uh, the Gen 6 has uh, a bigger holder, right? It's more stable in this block and newer blocks. Uh, and it was, you know, built for roller tappets. You don't have to do that conversion. It, it's uh, set up for it. Again, this is a four bolt main. This is a four bolt main block, so it came out of a heavy duty pickup, maybe a 3500, somewhere around 2000 model. And uh, it's a four bolt main. It's going to be a completely roller engine with that uh, stroker kit. So it'll be a, a 489. And we're looking at, yeah, roller tappets, roller rockers, and uh, some auto brock heads, 20cc dome, pistons, and that's all I can think of. So again, we'll just, I'm just showing you guys this video. I'm sure you can see other videos about people building engines and shit, but uh, this one's going to be step by step. And uh, it'll help you hopefully decide what, what route you want to go. So we're shooting for, like I said, 600 horsepower, somewhere around there. If we don't hit that mark, that's cool. Uh, we will have 600 foot-pounds of torque. That's that's a guaranteed. So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a monster. All right, guys.